that it will be as we return you now to the scene here in the sports pavilion and we're coming up in just a couple of moments with the middleweight crown fight and to Fermo against Marvin Hagler. Now you're going to be looking at there he is Vito and to Fermo a kind of sawed off body but one of the roughest customers you'll ever want to find with enormous stamina the ring record there in the graphic before you 45 victories 39 19 by KOs and there as we go to Marvin Hagler there he is felt by so many in New England to have been unjustly deprived of a championship shot for a long long time but Hagler with his record before you dynamite as I have said earlier in either hand a skilled boxer a man who was originally a southpaw converted to the orthodox style is the, the referee the or rather the ring announcer the Chuck Hull. The next fight of the afternoon the judges are Dolby Shirley Al Miller and Dwayne Ford. The referee is Mills Lane the attending physician at ringside Dr. Donald Romeo the timekeeper is Ed O'Toole, counting at the knockdowns, Mike Morobino. This is a feature attraction of the afternoon. Fifteen rounds of boxing for the undisputed middleweight championship of the world. Introducing in the blue corner, weighing in at 158 and one half pounds, the challenger, marvelous Marvin. Hagler. And in the red corner, introducing from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in also at 158 and one half pounds, the undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Vito Antwerpermo. 15 rounds of boxing. All right, you've heard Chuck Hull, the ring announce. The fight almost ready to begin. Now, as they get in for the instructions, there is the tail of the tape. No real age differential, minor height differential, weight exactly the same, important reach differential favoring Hack. So be it. The two of them eyeing one another in the middle of the ring. And right there, looking on interestedly, is the brilliant 23-year-old unbeaten welterweight Sugar Ray Leonard. And very much underrated, enormously so, a brilliant fighter, Wilfred Benitez, the WBC welterweight champion. Remember that fight coming up tonight. But right now, back to this fight. It's a 19-6 by 19-6 ring. 10-point must system in scoring. Mandatory eight count on knockdowns. No standing eight counts. The three knockdown rule wave. They are fighting with Reyes gloves. Eight ounce, of course. And first round action. Antifermo is not a stylist. He is a rough customer. He knows how to use his arms, his shoulders his head and he relies on his tremendous stamina comes on strongly in the late rounds Hagler is a stylist he is a good boxer I mentioned that he was a natural southpaw converted but you will see him convert in the middle of a fight as Davy Armstrong of Olympic fame has done Right now he's using the right lead. There, that's what I mean about Antifermo. This is a night when challengers enter the ring as favorites. Antifermo the champ, a big underdog to Hagler. A similar situation, although that was changing late today, with Benitez against Lennon. First round action, and you see Hagler with the right lead. Referee in the bout is Mills Lane. He has no voice in the score. The three judges do. They are Dolby Shirley, Hal Miller, and Dwayne Ford. The 
Nobody adds a firmo likes to fight. Brawl, ball, bully opponent, wear him down. And a firmo with a right lead there. Good left there. First really good blow of the fight. Agla getting that right in. Wants to keep using that reach advantage. You'll hear the bell for the end of the round in just seconds. We're back live. Round two just underway. World Middleweight Championship at stake. No division here. Both WBC and WBA versions. Hagler to the right of your screen. The challenger, the predominant favorite. In the first round, fighting southpaw style. He was the more effective. He got in a good left, as you saw, against Antifermo. This is a good size ring, a lot of room to work with. And Hagler now putting his jab, his right blade jab, effectively together with an occasional left in combination. Antifermo using his tactics, the tactics that brought him the crown against Hugo Caro in Monte Carlo, about we did at the end of June of this year. See that right lead getting in there? Two hands, Jim, two hands. Crowd mistook that a little bit. Thought Vito might have been hurt. And the Fermo trying to stay all over Hagla on the inside, using his body strength. But Anna Fermo paying the price. Hagla wanting to keep him off him so he can operate with his style and poise as a boxer. And knowing that both hands are power late. One minute to go in this, the second round. Crowd in the background now chanting, Vito, Vito, the way they used to chant, Nino, Nino, in the halcyon days of Nino Benvenuti. <laughs> Wide left by Hagler, following the right. At the end of this round, we're going to go into the corners and seek to ascertain what the fighters are being told by the respective corners. Vito with a good counter right. What you must remember about Anna Fermo, too.